Arsenal's Gabriel Jesus has underwent surgery and I think he underwent it yesterday, three months out confirmed. Two to three months, that's the period that is expected to be out of action for a team which goes by the names of Arsenal. Where does, where does this leave Arsenal? It leaves them in a very, very worrying situation. And they have come out, very many players of Arsenal, and wished him what we call a very good recovery, 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 recovery period. So, Edin Ketia has been tipped to come out and really lead the line for Arsenal and maybe see whether he can get the job done for a club which goes by names of Arsenal. Smash the like button, comment and share. If at all you're watching us for the very first time, endeavor to subscribe to this channel so as not to miss out on stories that we do upload in here on a daily. Rokan David is my name. This is the channel, Rokani Media Football. We are talking Arsenal tonight. First video of the day. I've come in late. I'm sorry, but I believe by the end of the day, we will be having close to three videos that you guys are really going to watch and enjoy. Very many stories today. Budget of Arsenal given to Mikel Arteta has been allegedly confirmed. Transfer plan changing. Very many things coming in through. Granite Xhaka coming out and reacting to the injury of Gabriel Jesus and then tipping Edin Ketia to lead the line of Arsenal in the two or three months where Gabriel Jesus is going to be away from the Arsenal starting 11. Remember this season, he had played all the Premier League games. 14, scored 5, and created 6 goals. Meaning that 14 goals and 11 goal involvements not a very bad, 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 bad contribution for a player like Gabriel Jesus. Now, when, when Cameroon was losing, sorry, when Brazil was losing to Cameroon in the World Cup by one goal to nil, Gabriel Jesus was one of the players that went the field of play and started that game. And I think he played like 50 minutes, walked off the field of play, and they brought in Pedro to go on and deputize for him. And it was confirmed he had a pain in his injury, flew to London, diagonized, and then the scan reported that he deserves to undergo a surgery. That is Gabriel Jesus. Now, him undergoing a surgery, the club has come out and confirmed that the club of Arsenal, that official Gabriel Jesus has successfully undergone surgery to his right knee after suffering an injury during the Brazil versus Cameroon World Cup group stage match on Friday. Gabi will now begin his rehabilitation program at London Conley. That is Gabriel Jesus. Now, that is a story that really hit Arsenal fans hard, but at a point X, you would expect it to be. Although he's not an injury prone player, as these other players we've seen at the club of Arsenal, he has to really at least get an injury that will keep him out for some weeks or months a season, especially when he's really being played as how he's been played at Arsenal. For example, at Man City, he was not being worked hard like this. He's a hardworking player, and obviously you expect him to be having injured and knocks in the Premier League, being a physical league, but obviously he's young. I believe that his recovery rate is going to be early enough, and we might see the same thing that happened to El Nini, happened to this guy. El Nini had an injury, hamstring injury, after Arsenal beat Fulham by two goals to one. Then he got a hamstring injury after that, we thought that he was going to be out for so long. We expected him to return on the 26th of December, but surprisingly, he returned in November, on the 1st of November, meaning that it took him like one and a half months or two months to return. So let's pray to it that Gabi Jesus really gets back to the level he's supposed to be on because Arsenal fans are really going to be missing him bad. So let me show you some of the footage, the photos of Gabriel Jesus that he posted on his Instagram after undergoing the knee surgery. That is the lad. That is Gabriel Jesus. She captioned that photo on Instagram. God is wonderful. I'll be back stronger. And we wish him a very good recovery. After posting that, fellow Arsenal players came out and wished him a quick or speedy recovery. The first one was Zinchenko, his mate at Man City. He said, we are with you, brother. That is, at Gabriel Jesus. After that, the captain of Arsenal, Martin Odegaard, came out and posted the following. Soon back stronger. Emo, we are all with you. That is what Martin Odegaard really went ahead to put up. And Gabriel Jesus went ahead to do another post on his Instagram 
with the clutches from the hospital with that with those clutches back to his home and he posed for a photo showing that i'm going to come back stronger that is gabriel jesus for you and who has just underwent a surgery and has been confirmed two to three months he is going to be out of action so arsenal fans all over the world have every reason to worry for this lad because it looks like the transfer plan has to change and we don't know what is running in the heads of Mikel Ateta, Edu and all the other people at Arsenal because they really went to Los Angeles where they met they met Kronki to draw a plan for their for their January January transfer window. It came in a very perfect time, all at a very perfect time when Gabriel Jesus had gotten an injury and they had known that he's going to undergo a surgery three months out. They have to get in a further forward if at all they are to go on and really put more pressure and extend the lead of five points they have ahead of Man City to see to either they win the trophy. So Arsenal has a lot on table to do, but let's wait and see what Arsenal is going to be like in the next month when Gabriel Jesus is not is not is not available because this calls in for Edin Ketia to lead the line the two games they're going to play in December and I believe even the game of Newcastle that is going to be played on the 3rd of January is going to be Edin Ketia leading the line unless otherwise Arsenal gets a deal done before 31st of December and that player is registered on the on the second such that the player can play on the third in there for you but i believe everything is not in good shape for arsenal because they have to play west ham brighton and newcastle their next three games meaning that if they happen to drop some points man city will get a chance to close them down something that no arsenal fan wouldn't have liked to happen now the captain of arsenal so it's not the captain of Arsenal. ESPN has gone ahead to let us know about this surgery and how long Gabriel Jesus is going to spend out of action. Now, Arsenal striker Gabriel Jesus has undergone or underwent a knee surgery. The Gunners reportedly suggest it's too early to identify a time frame on when the 25-year-old could return. However, ESPN reports Jesus could be out for around three months. So to me... I believe no player has ever went the knee surgery and spent a minimum of two months. The minimum is like three months. That's why that's the time from they're giving us. But the good thing is that the injury has come in at a very perfect time in in December because he underwent the surgery on the sixth of December, meaning that sixth of January, one month, sixth of february second month 6th of march that is the third march the third what the third month and if i told you've been following the game of football very well the one one of the managers that won the premier league very many times that is sir alex ferguson came out and said that if i told you want to win the premier league you must be consistent and win 90 percent of your games from march to to may if Jesus comes, if Jesus comes in back in March and puts back the pressure that he was really putting out at Arsenal and puts in results as he was really all performances that he has been putting in at Arsenal in the first 14 games, if Arsenal can win the last the last 14 games of their season with Gabriel Jesus inclusive, then that would be like a new signing. But who is going to fill the void that is going to be available in between 27, 26th of December? to the 6th of March. Who is going to be there? That's the big question. Remember, Arsenal is going to be playing in the UEFA Europa League. Without this guy, Gabriel Jesus, they will be vulnerable. So I believe the transfer plan needs to go all out and change. So, but the ESPN is telling us that three months of this guy out of action. Now, Grant Xhaka, the captain of Arsenal, has really come out and said the following on the injury of jesus he has said i spoke with him straight after the cameroon game we have the contact between each other with all the players we have here in the world cup it's a shame because you saw in the first round of the premier league how important he is for us that's what he said and he's hinting about talking with him after the injury before he underwent a surgery but obviously he had to undergo a surgery if at all he never wanted this injury to go on and become worse very many players 
have suffered injuries like the Cavani's. They really persisted to undergo injuries. Sorry, to undergo to undergo what we call surgeries, and then these injuries worsened to see to it that every time they are always injury prone players. So after that, he hinted about him being very integral into the first part of the league. Obviously, as I told you, 14 games played in the Premier League. Gabriel Jesus, he has scored five goals with six assists, 11 goal involvements. That's not bad, meaning that at least in every game, you expect an involvement of Gabriel Jesus to get his team to the levels where they are supposed to be. Then Grant Xhaka continued and said, I don't know how big the injury is, maybe two or three months, I think, but he's a strong guy. It's a small injury for him, I think, and we will support him. He knows that. We are behind him and hopefully we can get him back as soon as possible. Now, I've read some of the some of the memos put out by physios as far as these injuries are concerned they insinuate that the time the time of injury healing depends on to the thoughts or the minds of the person who is injured if at all the person who is injured has thoughts that oh this is a simple injury is going to heal in time the healing might even take place before the required period of time and this is what jaka is telling us about jesus that jesus is a very strong lad it's a small injury for him and he believes this will get done as soon as possible and they can't wait for him to return now in his departure he has to get a replacement and for the two games they are going to play that is west ham and west ham and brighton that means they need the services of Edin Ketia because they can't sign a player in, the, in December unless otherwise January knocks on the door. So he has said the following about Edin Ketia. Jaka on Edin Ketia leading the line for Arsenal. We have two. We have no different options. We have the option with Eddie, of course. He showed great games. He showed great games as well in the past and we need to support Gabi first. We need to support Eddie as well. So they are backing this lad to go on and really fire in goals like no other. That is, that is, that is, that is Eddie Inketia. The other, after saying that of Eddie Inketia, there is something of Eddie Inketia that I really need to come out and really put out. After supporting him, there is something I really want to come out. Yeah. Now, Xhaka said, Nketiah will be a big, will be a big, big part of the next two or three months. But I'm looking forward because we have the quality to bring Ed Nketiah there to help him. I believe Ed Nketiah can come in and get this job done, provided Arsenal is really creating chances for him. He's not a bad finisher. He's having and learning lots of lessons from Gabriel Jesus. That's why you see to it that every time Gabriel Jesus so, sorry, ever since Gabriel Jesus came in at Arsenal, Edin Ketty has turned into a different striker altogether. His runs of the balls are better. The way he he takes on defenders, the way he shoots, I believe it's better. That's why you saw to it that even in the game that Arsenal lost 4-2 against Watford in the close that was held behind doors at London Conley, he scored a goal. And I believe the game they're going to play tomorrow, Edin Ketia, might be one of those players that's going to come in through and really put in a very thrilling performance. So I believe Edin Ketia is really one of those players that is really going to lead the line for Arsenal. And he can really do as a stopgap or a plaster on the wound. But the big question is, what if he also gets an injury? Because in the game of football, no one is tall enough to see the future. So that leaves very huge question marks lingering in the head of uh, Ateta Mikel. So... That's the big question. Now, this man was knocked out. This man was knocked out of the World Cup by Portugal. Annihilated 6-1. One of the heavy defeats as far as the round of 16 is concerned. The heaviest defeat was against was that of Brazil against South Korea. But obviously, it turned out to be ugly when Switzerland played Portugal. And it turned out to be 6-1. Now... He has told to Standard Sport 
that he would fly directly to Dubai to join Arsenal's training trip. That is Guantijaka. In his own words, he said, I have something to achieve there. And I know the team is in Dubai at the moment doing a preseason. I'm flying back to Dubai, going back to the team and going back to the training and trying to forget the tournament. That's what he's telling us. He's not like Thomas Pate, Tom, um, Tomiyasu and Matt Turner who really are requesting to go in and really get some good number of days off, close to 7 or 10. But Jaka is acting like a real captain. He has said, I'm returning to Arsenal training camp warm weather training camp in dubai and obviously rejoining with the boys thank you guys for watching him through tell me your reaction to gabriel jesus undergoing surgery obviously confirmed two to three months out do you think arsenal will be in contention for the premier league title if at all they don't sign another striker then gabriel jesus sorry edin katia being tipped by the captain or vice captain grant jaka on going ahead to do the needful and win the game of football for Arsenal in there for you in the absentia of Gabriel Jesus. Can he feel the boots of Gabriel Jesus? All that in the comment section below. I can't wait to see you guys flock into the comment section and tell me what you think about this lad. I sign out for now. See you later. May the metal bless you abundantly.